Okay, this is an update video on the X8, the ATI Radon X850 Pro flashing. So, the update is very good. I got it working 100%. As you can see here, I'm running Leopard. Perfectly. As you can see, no lag at all. Okay, so as you can see in the About This Mac review, or in the System Profiler, it is actually now detected as an ATI Radon X800 XT. Um, but as you can see, it, dis it sees the display properly. Full resolution, full core image support, and full core extreme support. The minimize effects are almost entirely smooth. See? The menu bar is translucent, as you can see there. So yeah, now I will show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need is to boot into an operating system that is older than Leopard as in Tiger or older. It has to be at least, it has to be Tiger or older. So yeah, um, I actually have Tiger installed to the partition, of, or installed to the hard drive on this Power Mac G4, which I will boot off target disk mode on this Power Mac G4. Now, you can watch my previous video on how to perform the tape mod, which you will need to do to actually get the system to turn on at all with the card installed. But once you do that, you go ahead and boot into Tiger. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff you need if you did not see my previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I will resume the video once it is booted into Tiger. Okay, Tiger is now booting on this Power Mac G4. Um, some things you need to do before you actually put in the graphics card and boot in the Tiger is you will need you actually watch my previous video to see the first steps which I will put a link to in the description. So just before you put the graphics card in uh, right on X850 Pro or XT, I think it works on an XT as well with a 64K ROM chip. This requires a reduced ROM. I this actually uses the X800 XT reduced ROM. You saw Leopard detected it as an X800 XT. So, um, I will go on my, my uh, MacBook Pro onto the VNC client, um, which I show instructions on how to set up in the previous video. Um, so, yeah, I will resume the video once I'm on my MacBook Pro connected to VNC. Be right back. Okay, I'm now connected to VNC. This is Tiger on the G4 down there. So, the first thing you are going to need is this ROM right here. I will put a link to this in the description. So, to use this ROM, or this is actually the um, ATI Radon X800 XT reduced ROM, as I said earlier, but I have actually edited this ROM to work on the X850 Pro or XT. Um, basically all I had to do was reduce the memory clock down to 303 megahertz because the stock 500 megahertz um, redu or ROM speed or memory speed would cause in, um, a lot of artifacting. So what you're going to need to do is First, open, now you can watch my previous video to see how to do this, but I will show you how to do it in this video. Oh, you will need this application called Graphics Accelerator, and the VNC client I used is OSX VNC, which is in a link on my previous video. So, now keep note, this card will not work on Tiger after you flash it, 
So you will have to use Flipboard to actually use the card. So, open Graphics Accelerator. Okay, now you're going to want to click MISC in the top, click Install Mac ROM in ATI Flasher. Now you should already have the ATI Tools folder on your desktop, as I do there. So, find your ROM, in my case it's on the desktop, click on it, click Open. Just wait. Browse to your ATI Tools folder and click on the ATI Multi Flasher file and click Open. Just wait a little bit. Click OK. If, that, if it asks you that, and click Done. Now, leaving that open, open the ATI Tools folder. Open this Run Me First application. Type your password. And then, now be sure to run the ATI Multi Dumper first, which will back up your current ROM. Okay, so you can reflash back to the stock ROM, stock PC ROM, if you wish to use this card on a PC again, or if this flashing doesn't work. So, after you run this, which I'm not going to do because I already have it flashed, open the ATI Multi Flasher. Uh, you'll get this message. As you can see, it says ROMs are the same because obviously I've already flashed it. So I'm just going to click no, but you click yes and it would scroll through. It would show you a progress bar indicating the progress of the flashing. So once you do that, you can go ahead and close everything and restart your computer into Leopard, which I will do right now. So I'm going to shut it down so I can get the display connected and all that. Also, before you flash, make sure there is no display connected. So I'm going to unplug the FireWire drive containing Tiger. Plug in the display to the VGA port. Note that the DVI port does not work. And turn on the computer. first get into Leopard, it will not work properly, but I will show you the steps in a second to get it to work properly. And the fans keep spinning up in there for some reason. As you can see, it detects the resolution right out of the box, but it won't work for you at first until you actually set the resolution and it was 10. But it will maintain the resolution, which is pretty cool since it's not a stock Mac ROM, or a stock Mac card. You can hear the fan on the graphics card spun down. Another feature I was pretty surprised that worked with the X800 XT ROM. Okay, so what you'll probably be seeing now is a very pixelated, very artifacty looking black and white screen. So what you want to do to fix that problem is download this application, which is actually on my flash drive, called um, uh, ATI Displays. You can see I have the disk image right there. Okay, so all you're going to do is run this and follow the prompts and reboot, and you will have perfect leopard as I do now. This may actually work on Tiger 2, but the problem is you can't boot into Tiger with the card installed and with a display connected, so you'd have to do it over VNC. But I do think it will work. I have yet to test that. I may test it. 
don't know if I want to because I kind of need to keep this hard drive stock to um, accommodate to the NVIDIA cards that I'm going to be using in it. I'm actually planning on using the old GeForce 4 MX card from the MDE in this Power Mac G4, which should help with graphics performance a lot compared to the 2 MX that is currently in there. So yeah, that's an update video on the X850 Pro flashing. Um, this will work on both the Pro and the X850 XT. So yeah, that's an update and it is now fully working. So, hope you enjoyed this video.